Hello, so tribe. You are all welcome to Pot and So Tribe channel. My name is Divine. Today we'll be learning how to make this A-line gown with vicious color and key o neckline. All right. For this tutorial, these are the tools and the material you'll be needing. You need your straight ruler, your scissors, your delos chalk, your cup, and of course your main fabric. So I'll be using this African print for the project, and you'll be needing up to four years of African print for that project. These are the required measurements. You'll be needing your gown length, shoulder to hip length, your hip circumference, your bust, your shoulder, and your sleeve length. So let us go straight to the drafting. The first thing you want to do is to measure the length of your gown. You're going to measure the length of your gown. You measure it. Whatever the length of your gown is, you are going to add one inch seam allowance. Now for this project I am working on, the gown length is 59. So adding one inch to it, I will be measuring 60 inches. Now the 60 inches you are going to double it. 160 will be for the front and the second 60 will be for the back. So I cut it out. I already have my 60 inches in two places. So you are going to fold each of them into two. So you fold it like so and you're going to fold the second one as well i have folded the two of them can you see it now for the back you're going to leave you'll be leaving like one inch to 1.5 inches seam allowance and we'll be using the allowance for our zipper allowance it will be advisable you have a zipper at the back of that dress because of the neck line so that is why i am leaving this zipper allowance now, after the folding, we have folded it into four places like this, two for front and two for back. The next thing you want to do is to measure your shoulder measurement. So the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 15. Now, you're going to be dividing your 15 into two. 15 divided by two is going to give you 7.5 plus half inch seam allowance. So you're going to have this like this. So I have my eight inches to be my shoulder length now on, on that point you're going to be inputting your arm hole or length the depth of your arm hole and the depth of my arm hole is nine inches so you're going to input the nine inches like this and you come to this place and measure your eight inches as well for the shoulder and you're going to draw a straight line so draw a straight line to form your arm hole line like so I hope you can see what I am doing. So this first line is going to serve as our, our chest line. So the next thing you want to do is from the shoulder up here, you are going to measure your waist line. And the waist line I'm working with is 18 inches. So the 18 inches you're going to measure, you're going to add half inch to it. And that is going to serve as the same allowance for the joining of the shoulder. So I have 18.5. So on that 18.5, you're going to draw your straight line as seen. Can you see what I am doing? Now, after the waistline, the next line you're going to input now is the hip line from shoulder to hip. For this, it is 25. So you measure 25.5. So I have my 25.5 like this. And you're going to draw your straight line as well. So I know from this place now, you have your full gown length. So on this arm hole line, you want to measure what you have there and divide it into two. Just divide it into two and note. So you come me on that point by half inch. Just come here by half inch and draw your line back to the shoulder like this. This is going to serve as your arm hole. Now on this, you're going to input, on this line, you're going to input your bust measurements. The bust measurement I'm working with is 40, and because this is a free a free gun, you'll be adding one inch each to it. So the 40 inches you'll be dividing it by four. If you divide 40 by four, you have 10. 10 plus one is going to give you 11. So I have 11 inches like this, and don't forget to add your seam allowance. So I'll be adding seam allowance of 1.5. 
So I have it like this, 1.5. So from this point that you came in by half here, you're going to place your curve. You'll be placing your ruler like so to draw your arm or curve. Can you see it? So just draw your arm or like this. Like this. And after this one, now you go ahead and you put your waist circumference. The waist circumference I'm working with is waist 39. 39 into 4 is going to give us 9 3 quarter. I have my 9 3 quarter here plus 1. 1 inch for this and 1.5 inches for the same allowance. So I have it like this. So I'll come to my hip line. On the hip line, I'll be putting the hip circumference. And my hip circumference, the hip circumference I'm working with is E42. 42. 42 into 4 will give us 10.5 plus 1 for the ease and plus 1.5 for the same allowance. So these three points you're going to connect them together with your ruler and seam. So just go like this and you bring it down to this place. Now, whatever you have here at your hip measurement here. We're going to measure it. I have about 13.5. Now, because this one is, is like a line down, so you're going to bring it down 13.5, and you're going to be adding six to five inches at the hem so that you're going to have your A line. So I have my 18.5, like so, and I'll be using my long ruler to connect it from the E line. So you're going to draw the straight line like this to the end can you see it so and we are almost done with this now the next thing you want to do to the hem is we have the hem ends here at the hem of your gown you can come up by 2 to 1.5 inches so i'll be coming up by 2 inches so and i will be drawing my line like this just to give this fast shape can you see it now, before I cut it out, you can just go ahead and draw the neckline. Yes, for this neckline that we have, which is uh, color, I'll be using, because I want it to be close, just like it is, I'll be using 2.5 by 2.5. 2.5 inches for the neck width, and I'm going to use 2.5 inches for the depth. So it's very important for this neck to lay properly. Although if, if your neck is a bit fat, you can use 3 by 3 But because of my neck size, that is why I am using 2.5. And I really want to see this part of the neck, the key or part. You know, there is a space in between the neck. So from the center front here, you are going to go in by, it shouldn't be much, so that the neck, the hole will not be too wide. So I will go in by 0.75, that is 3 quarter of an inch from the center front. Can you see it? Go in by 0.75 and on that point from the initial 2.5 inches, you can just come down by another 2 inches. Now you're going to cut it, you are going to draw this shape like this. So like that, you have given that place the shape. By the time you cut, you know, by the time you cut it out, this space, this uh, space that we went in by 0 0.75 is going to be one and a half inches. Do you get it now? Now, don't forget to do your shoulder slant. It's very, very important. Now, on the arm side, you come down by 1.5 for the front, 1.5 inches for the front, and you're going to come down by one inch for the back. So I'll be cutting the back on first so that it will be easier for me to cut that of the front. Do you get it now? So I will come to the end of the drafting. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to go ahead and cut out this uh, fabric. So I want you to watch the way I will cut this upper part, the neck area. Can you see it? Just go in like this. Cut, cut, cut. And from this part now, you just go in and cut, cut, cut. So, like I said, cut your uh, back shoulder slope first. Can you see? Go ahead and cut out your arm hole, like so. 
and you just go ahead and cut now you can just remove the uh, the front part so that you can reshape you can recut the shoulder slope area of the front you know i said you should use 1.5 inch for the shoulder slope of the front so can you see it i have removed it like this and i'm going to reshape just go ahead and reshape it like this okay the next thing you want to do now is to draw your back neckline so i'll be using 1.5 inches and 2.5 inches so the 2.5 inches is going to be for the width while the 1.5 inches is going to be for the depth and you just go ahead and connect and cut out all right and don't forget to open the back the zipper area Now, after cutting the whole thing, this is what you should have, and this is how your front uh, neck should look like. The next thing you will need to do now is to cut out your facing. So, from the leftover fabric, you'll be cutting out your facing for both the front and the back. So, I'll be removing this now. Let me just remove this and put it aside. So, just go ahead and Hold it. Don't forget your sleeve. So I'll cut part of this for the front and I'll use the other part for the back facing. So just go ahead and place it like I'm doing. Can you see it? And you're going to trace out the neckline. It's very important. And from this part, from the, this part of the keyhole, you can just go down by. So just measure it in five. Let me use five inches. So you note that part, the five inches part. So note it, come down by five inches here and you note it. And you just go ahead and cut out, cut out the shape. Can you see it? Cut out the shape of the neck like so. And you cut it to the shoulder part like this okay this is what we have at the end of the day so you can just give this part any shape of your choice let me just give it and you just go ahead and cut now after this cutting for the front so this is going to be the front and the facing now for the back we are going to do the same thing you know there is no keyhole at the back so at the back neckline is not as deep as that of the front so i'll be taking part of these pieces let's just take part of these pieces to cut the neck for the back to fold it into two and just place it so just go ahead and cut out the shape of the neck simple as like that and the shape of the so we are done now after cutting out the facing, you can just go ahead and pin the two shoulders. I have done that. I have pinned down my shoulder. The essence of you pinning the shoulder down is to be able to measure your neck line. You know, you're going to attach, you'll be attaching bands, you'll be attaching your collar to it. So you will need to measure the neck. So you're going to measure it from the opening side here. Just measure it to the back. So I have about nine inches here for this side and this place also will be nine inches. So you'll be adding extra one inch for both, one inch, one inch for the turning. So let me cut out. We're going to cut it out like this. You're going to be using four inches for the width. So nine inches plus one for the turning, that's going to be 10. So that means each band is going to be four inches by 10 inches so 4 by 10 just cut out your 4 by 10 inches so this is going to be for the band 10 inches by 4 so you go ahead and attach any interfacing of your choice i have added all my interfacing for the two band and for the facing 
for both front and back. So you can now remove your pin. Now to turn the neckline, especially for that of the front, you are not going to turn the whole part. Now right side will be facing right side. Place it like so. Can you see it? And you will just turn only this part, the part of the key O. Just go ahead and use your machine to sew the key O down. So you don't need to turn this place because we'll be using our collar to cover it. So let me go and sew it and show you the next thing to do. I have turned the neckline with the facing, leaving this part opened. Can you see it? So it is only the keyhole part that you will turn. And you just go ahead and notch it. So after the notching, the next thing you want to do is to go and give it a good press so that this part will relax very well. All right, I have done the keyhole side of the neck and I have gone ahead to I have gone ahead to sew down the the facing. Now the next thing you want to do now is to go and attach our ruffles. And looking at that picture, the ruffles enter the shoulder here. Yeah? So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line. Now from the hammer, I'll be coming here by say one and a half inches and i'll just draw a line like that so measuring one and a half inches from here that means the width i'll be having about three and a half so i'll just measure the three and a half rounds like this that's going to guide me on where i'm going to attach my ruffles and after the line you can just measure around this space whatever you have multiply it by two and that's going to be the length of your ruffles i've already done that you know the ruffles is going to be two step so i've done the two can you see it? So you just go ahead and join the two together. Join the two together before you pleat it around the ruffles. So for the measurements I use, I use three by five and I'm going to place it around on the line I have drawn. All right, so drive, I thought I should show us this part of the sewing. I've joined the two strips together and we are having it like this. Can you see it? Now this is how you go about it. The chalk, the place you have chalked down, I'll be sewing like this. From the left side of the strip that I've joined together, I will make sure that the right side is facing right side like this. Can you see it? And I'm going to start from the shoulder part. D do you get it now? So I'll just go ahead and using the line to guide me, I'll just be going like this. I'm going to pleat everything down like that. I'll just go ahead and pleat following the line and I'll sew everything down. So I have this now, I have done the pleating, you can just go ahead and top stitch it so that it will relax. So this is what you should have after top stitching, can you see it? You can just trim out the excess on the shoulder and we go ahead and attach our collar. To attach the collar, the first thing you do is to join your two shoulders together. Let me join them and show you the next thing. I have joined the shoulder, so I cannot go ahead and join the, the collar. So this is how to go about the collar stuff. You are going to, one side of the collar, you, you turn it over like this, and you sew on it, leaving half in. So after sewing the edge, this is how it should look like. Can you see it? You should leave this half in so that it will be easy for you to attach on the neck now this part that you have sewn down is where you are going to place on the key side so from inside out you place it make sure they both align and you are going to sew it around the neck let me sew it down so just go ahead and sew it around the neck So this is it i sew on half inch so you're going to turn it inside out like this can you see it and you're going to sew it down you make sure you sew it very close to the edge so that it will be very nice
all right and you just go ahead and cut any excess you'll be having so this is how your your color should look like so you have something like this the next thing you want to go and do is to fix your zipper and you're going to attach your sleeve if you don't know how to go about the basic sleeve you are going to see a link on how to draft a basic sleeve let me attach my zipper and i will attach the sleeve and i'm going to show you the finished look so this is the final look of our dress kindly subscribe to my channel bye